Today on I Do Stuff. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm going to be installing some new tail lights and a new fourth brake light. I just got these in yesterday. and I've been waiting for a decent amount of time to get these uh, just because I've been wanting to do a little bit more research on them and make sure that this is exactly what I want to get. I don't mind the stock tail lights. A lot of people don't like them, but one of the things that I don't like is the fact that when you come up here, squeeze on through here. I have this really nice front end with the upgraded headlights, side markers, and obviously the aerodynamics uh, that I put up front. And I have yet done anything to the rear of this car. So this is going to be the very first mod I've, I do in the last year, uh, which if you've seen the video I did last year, it was actually just talking about the end plates that I have up front. But this has been something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And I'm gonna try and make a informational slash here's what I'm doing, you know, as far as fun stuff to my car is concerned. Um, I've seen some videos out there that talk about installing these specific taillights and fourth brake light, but obviously things change over the years. So I figured this might be something that can be informational for people out there who are looking to get this specific style taillight upgrade. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the tools that you're going to need and also take a look at the taillights themselves and then we'll get started. So we'll start off by going over what you're gonna need as far as tools are concerned. First off, you're gonna want some trim panel remover tools. You're going to want some sort of precision needle set. This is really to just pop out the lead and the fourth brake light harness. You're also gonna need some wire taps. Um, these are tap splices. They used to come with the fourth brake light kit. Um, they no longer do, or at least mine didn't, which is kind of disappointing. But these are four bucks at Lowe's. It's a pack of 20, so you don't need that many. You need some wire strippers, electrical tape. I have wrenches because there's two bolts for the fourth tail, uh, fourth brake light that are kind of a hassle, so these might come in handy, but again, I don't know if I'm gonna need those. A sharp knife to cut into the harness, again, for the fourth brake light. And then you're gonna need a socket, which um, I'll have the size on screen for you. So for the taillights themselves, they're actually very easy to put on. You're really only gonna need the actual socket itself. Everything else is for the fourth brake light. So if you're just doing the taillights, you're just gonna need a socket set and that's it. If you're doing the fourth brake light, you're gonna need the rest of the stuff. The way I intend on doing this install is I don't wanna spend too much time trying to film it just because I'm limited on time. So what I'm actually gonna do is I have a second camera that I'm gonna have shooting off at one angle. Um, to kind of get some b-roll and then I'm also going to try and pick up the camera every now and then to explain what it is I'm doing um, Hope you guys get some use out of it. We'll take a look at the taillights in a second But I would like to start off by saying That this is the very first time that I'm doing a mod in my new garage at my new house. I just bought um, It's a very dinky old garage. So It's uh, it's definitely humble beginnings, but the car actually does fit in here, believe it or not. I just have it pulled out a little bit so I have more space back here. And unfortunately, it's a dirt slash gravel. Uh, that's a, that looks like a pencil or end of a pen. So it is definitely a very old garage. The people that own this house before didn't really take a lot of care of it on the inside. So, um, but anyways, this is kind of like humble beginnings in my opinion. So I'm actually really excited to do my first install um, in the last year and also in my brand new house. So I'm gonna start off with the tail lights because these are actually gonna be the easiest thing to get done. Um, I wanna do that first, try, try to get it out of the way. Um, I do have a camera set up right there to try to get a different angle. But these are very straightforward. There's just a few bolts on the inside that you have to undo to pop this out. In order to get to that, you have to take out this. You'll have to take out this little carpeting right here, unplug that button back there, and then you'll have access to the bolts and you'll pop those out. There's a ton of people online that have done this already and made videos on how to do installs, or you can go to websites like FT Speed where they show off their own product. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and see how it goes. And actually before I get started, I never went over what it is that I got 
Um, so for the tail lights, hello, you can see me. So what I have here are the Valenti Black Gold Edition. Um, these are Valenti, they still have it stamped on their housing. On FT Speed's website, it's listed as OLM, but I mean, tomato, tomato, I mean, the this is still the look that I've been looking for. So this is what I have. The fourth brake light that I got actually is the same exact brand and same exact style, so that way it's all matching. So now that I have this off, you can tell that there is some dirt collected over the years um, right here on the seal. So this is the gasket that makes that seal for the weathering right there. Um, when you install taillights, you gotta be really careful with this because it's foam and it's pretty fragile. Because um, if you don't do it right or if you pinch it, you're gonna get a lot of condensation inside the taillight, which is something that happens to people way too often. So when I install this, I'm gonna take my time, clean it down, make sure everything's nice and set, and then we'll move on to the other one. All right, so that was very straightforward. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I have this plugged in. Um, these are not tightened down all the way, they're just hand tightened right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car, see the lights work and everything. Uh, this is just a plug and play. You don't have to do anything specific with this. So we're gonna just go ahead and check it out. Um, okay, so we'll do this. I actually didn't need my key, but here we go. These are just the running lights. <laughs> and, oh, oh, no. oh, oh my lord. This looks so good. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is awesome. Oh my god, this is so much better looking. Holy crap. Don't get me wrong, I do like the stock tail lights. I think these are really nice stock tail lights for what the car is being 2013 and all but man this is such such a good upgrade oh i'm going to turn on the turn signal these have sequential tail lights or turn signals on them so i'm actually gonna turn on the hazards so you can see the difference Ooh, ooh, that looks so good Wow. Wow. It's such a big difference. What's really nice about this too is it does have this little switch right here. If you want to flip that the other way, it turns it into a regular turn signal rather than the sequential, which is nice. Um, I'm going to keep that on because I love the sequential look. And also, It matches the sequential up front, which is pretty rad, dude. Oh my god, that's so sick. 
<laughs> so sick, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and then we're gonna move on to the fourth brake light. Yes! Oh my freaking God. Oh, this looks so amazing. Please ignore the beeping noise, but this is so simple, but yet so awesome. I cannot believe. This is this is so easy. Like I have to tighten these down, but like this is such such a thing of freaking beauty. I am so excited. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this down, get everything cleaned up, and then we're gonna start working on the fourth brake light. So right now I'm just trying to get these pop rivets out because these need to come out for the fourth brake light. Um, so I'm just using part of my trim removal tool set because it's thin enough to get in there without damaging anything. You can use a flathead screwdriver, but honestly, this is probably the safer route. So once I have those popped, use this thing just work its way out and there we go so now this should just there we go okay cool so not rocket science but now um, we have the wiring harness for the fourth brake light down here um, what's up um, this is gonna have, harness is gonna run over this way. Um, so I'll get into that here in just a second. But uh, this is gonna be a little tedious. So I'll try and do as much explanation as possible throughout the course of this. Um, I know out there it's kind of difficult to find out like how to do the wiring because I've looked and there's some people who are really good at explaining it, some people who are not. It's really not that difficult. Um, you are gonna wanna have your battery unplugged during this process, so do that first before you start splicing into anything. But what I actually wanna start doing first is uninstalling the stock brake light because it's gonna be probably the most tedious, um, given that I don't have any jacks or jack stands at my house. Um, so I'm literally just doing this on the gravel floor. Um, but luckily I have enough clearance to where I should be able to get up there and wiggle around so I'm gonna get through that, and then I'm really gonna just explain how to do the wiring itself. As far as the install is concerned, again, plenty of people have done it on the internet. FT Speed even has done it on their website, on their YouTube channel. So just go watch those to actually see the install process of this, and then I'll do a little bit of explanation on the wiring harness. Ow, oh. wow, my fingernails actually managed to get that. Huh. Cool. Oh, that's one. Well, maybe I can just finagle it. Ask it nicely. It will want to work in my favor. Or, promise it a beer. Maybe a juicy burger. This is being kind of a little pain in my ass. It doesn't want to pop out. It's so close. Let's see if I can get some leverage on it. Nope, absolutely not. We're gonna stick with the hands. I'm kissing my car. This is weird. I don't know why. Ah, uh -huh. just kidding. I got it. And it's still intact. <laughs> It's like, um, you know when you fray plastic on the edge, it like bends it backwards a little bit? That's what it feels like has happened. They make it look way easier. It probably is easier, I'm just having a heck of a time. 
Mike. It's almost there. It's almost there. Oh, almost booted me right in the snoop. So, I don't know if you can see this. There's a little tab right here in the middle that goes straight down. And there's two little tabs off the side that go straight up. You have these two little black hooks that go in here and you have to push those down to slide this out. This little corner on the part that goes down was still snagging on the black hook on that, on that side because the plastic was like bent ever so slightly. I think he just plucked it off. And because of that, it was gripping on for dear life. So I got it. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, God. All right. So I started that part at 1.30, and it's now 2 or 2. So it literally took me 30 minutes to unhook all the clips, the two bolts, the bulbs, which, uh, let's face it, the reason why I was having issues at the end was because I t didn't take the light bulbs out. Um, just kidding, that's not actually why. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and pull out the harness, get that all situated, and I'm going to put in the new fourth brake light, and then we'll go up top and I'll show the splicing of the wires and all that fun stuff. I wanted to stop real quick and give kind of like a quick tip. If you're doing this by yourself, as I'm fishing up this wire harness, it's kind of a pain because the hole where it's located. But I had this uh, nylon rope that I, that I used for a different project. And what I did was I just fed it into the hole. And now it's popping out the bottom here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it to the end of this harness and I'm literally going to fish it up there. Obviously over the exhaust pipe, not under it. But if you're doing this by yourself and you have some like twine rope laying around, use it. It will save you a whole lot of time. So basically how this is going to go, I'm going to briefly run through it. Um, but honestly, there is a video out there by Mod Bargains. Uh, I'm going to put in the description below. They show the exact method that I'm going to use to splice this into the brake light. Um, this is a 2013 FRS. This is the Valenti fourth brake light and it comes with this extra red wire. Um, so literally this entire setup is what they had except for it wasn't the black gold edition. I'm still going to describe to you how this works but definitely want to give credit where credit is deserved. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make a very small incision back here along this uh, housing. And you do want to be careful because all the wires are in there. You don't want to damage any of them. The next what you're going to do is there is a little blue wire right there where the tip of my knife is. That blue wire is going to be unpinned using the precision needle tool. Once you unpin that, you're then going to cut off the end of it because there's obviously a little metal prong. So when you cut off that end of it, you're then going to pull it through back to that incision back there so that way it sticks out of the incision itself. Next, you have this very long red wire that they supply to you. You will not need the entire length of this wire, so you can cut it off right here and then feed it back, or you could do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna feed back a little bit of extra, if not all of it, just because I like to have more than less. And then next, we're going to tap into the wire harness for the uh, tail lights themselves. So, I'm going to get started on that, and then along the way, I will show you the progress that I'm making. But again, I'll put the link in the description of the video that I used as a reference because they go more step-by-step -step with it, and it's a lot more professional filming than what I'm doing. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and then I'll check back with you. I like my little doohickey, like, look, I'm pointing with my knife. Let's just jab, 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 jab. All right, so that only took a few minutes. Um, I made my incision right there. You do want to be very careful when you do so. I did kind of nick the green wire that's in there. It's the housing isn't damaged like terribly, but like it just goes to show you, you want to be very careful, especially when you're cutting around wires. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to T-tap them into the harness going to the taillight itself, not the OEM coming from the car, 
but going from like that white clip, that stark white clip to the actual tail light. That's what they do in the video. There's certain color wires that you want to use. I'll put them on screen um, right now and then you just want to pause it so that way you know which one I'm going to mess with and then I will update you once I'm done. Also, don't forget to unplug the battery like I did. So I'm going to go do that first and then I'm going to tap into it. So one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning was you were going to want some pliers for this part when you crimp them together because these cappers um, have this little bit of metal that cuts down into the wire. Uh, so you feed them into there. Um, the one you're tapping into, you feed from the side. And then the one that you're putting in from the fourth brake light, you're going to feed straight in. So anyways, um, I got those tapped. Um, it was kind of tricky just because of the angle that you're working at is a little tedious. But I got both of them tapped. Um, so for this, it's light blue from the fourth brake light to dark blue on the tail light. And then the red from the fourth brake light to the red on the tail light. So I haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to reconnect the battery, test it out for the very first time, and see if it works. All right, moment of truth. Oh, geez. I know what I did wrong. I didn't plug in the actual harness to the car. So um, that was very anticlimactic. Let me fix that. Boop. Ah, we have power. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, definitely don't forget to plug in the harness. Um, I did all the splicing and all the difficult stuff, but I forgot to, uh, you know, do the most basic thing, which is plug it in. Oh, that looks so good. This is sick. This is so sick. 